David, we'll see you in a bit. We're learning new details tonight about the case surrounding violent felon Cameron Jenkins. A body believed to be Jenkins was found yesterday less than one week after a shootout with a Cleveland County deputy. That deputy was injured, an innocent bystander killed. News 9's Chris Yu joins us live with the latest. Chris? Yeah, Colby, OHP said they decided to do one last search around the area of that shooting scene yesterday, and it resulted in them finding a body that they say matches the description of the suspect, 25-year-old Cameron Jenkins. Investigators say Cleveland County Deputy Sean Stedman was trying to pull over Jenkins on I-35 near Winniewood last Wednesday. Stedman tactically rammed Jenkins' car when he wouldn't pull over. Investigators say Jenkins shot Stedman, and a stray bullet killed Guan Frierson, who was in a truck nearby. OSBI investigators are still working to figure out whose bullet shot Frierson and what prompted the initial traffic stop. OHP Major Joe Williams talked about the body being found just 450 feet away from that shooting scene. Yes, it's very frustrating that, that, that we didn't find him initially as close to the original crime scene as he was. However, the, uh, the brush and the undergrowth where he was discovered, you literally had to crawl and move it to find the body. Investigators say they did set up an inner and outer perimeter and the body was found within it. Now, while they believe that the body is Jenkins, the medical examiner still needs to positively identify it and determine a cause of death. Meanwhile, Deputy Stedman is recovering at home. Live in OKC, Chris Yu, Oklahoma's own News 9.